we were working on a play called Kill the Coens, and I mentioned um, Kill the Coen Brothers, and I mentioned it to my my therapist. Um, and you know how it was how it was it was such a like a, a helpful thing to have something creative to work on because um, I'd been having a hard time I'd been really having a hard time that year and she was like why don't you try to write about it like why don't you try to do something creative with it and I thought that was a really um, humiliating idea like to myself, I was like, no, I'll, I'll never do that because um, it's it's too embarrassing. Hopefully I can like, it helped me kind of channel all the the kind of chaos and and disorder. Instantly, I thought this would be a good play for Rivendell. Just the dynamic that the women had, and and there were characteristics of her aunts that reminded me spe of specific Rivendell ensemble members. But also, I don't know those those characters were just so strong, and I was like, oh, this is something that like that I felt like the ensemble could excel in. It just seemed like the perfect marriage too, and something that um, the company. That that would be just really great for the company could for the company to do. At one point, Tucky in the play, it goes from being really hilarious, and then things take like this uh, really dark shift. What's up with that? family gatherings end up though. I mean, I feel like a pattern was established, at least for mine, where it's like, it's, it's, it's very happy-go-lucky and these people are so entertaining and then someone reveals something or someone's feelings are hurt, especially with family because you have decades and decades of, of accumulated hurt and then how fickle niceness can be, you know, when you're with people that you love so much. <laughs>